Welcome to the official Windows 8 channel and this is a back to basics kind of video where I'm going to show you a little bit of the touch gestures used in Windows 8 because a lot of people don't really know how to use their touch devices. So if you have a touch screen PC and you're wondering how to um, use those uh, touch gestures, here it has, here's how it works. So first of all, of course, your gestures are sliding up and down or left to right works really well just by sliding on the screen. One thing that you might want to use in Windows 8.1 is of course the charms bar. It's on the right side of the screen and most of the time all you have to do is go on the exterior of your display and just drag from the inside by touching the screen. So you just drag inside and you see the charms bar will appear and of course you can use the different functions whatever you want to do. When the charms bar here uh, you want to you know, have the charms bar closed, all you have to do is just touch the screen anywhere except on the charms bar, of course, and it's going to go away. Um, in Windows 8.1, when you have a touch tablet or device, the best thing to do is to use the modern version of the browsers or the apps. Why? Because if you look at this, it's easier to go through than it is uh, to go through, for example, if I use Google Chrome, you know, this is made mostly for mouse. So you have to, you know, sometimes struggle to go to the little red X to close windows. It's not always easy. So that's why uh, having your start screen with modern apps is probably better in a touch device because it's easier to use. One thing that people don't know how to do is how to close an app in a touch device. If you are using a mouse and keyboard, you have on the top right a little red X. But if you have a touch device, it's not there most of the time. And the way to close an app is actually to put your finger at the top of the touch screen and drag down. As you see here, this just closed Internet Explorer. So that's how it works. All you have to do is go up and drag downwards and this closes all the apps. If you have multiple apps open, for example, another way to close the apps is to go to the app bar. It's on the left side, so you just drag from the um, left inside the screen and you see the apps that are open are in this apps bar. You can take one and drag it at the bottom and this is going to close that app. So just take it, drag it at the bottom and that's it. You just close the apps. So these are the basic gestures if you use different apps, don't forget that when you are on an app, of course, dragging from the bottom will bring out options at the bottom. And don't forget that the charms bar has different options for the app that is open also. So it's very important to know how to use uh, the different options in your tablet. And of course, the Windows key on most tablets, because most tablets do have a Windows key, is returning to the start screen and if you have a laptop you might have your little start button on the bottom left just tap on it to go to that option one last feature for most windows uh, touch screens is how to get options so for example you're here you want to have options for your screen well all you have to do is touch and hold and then leave it go and you'll see that the options are here. So you just touch and hold. In my tablet, when I hold it, it actually creates a little square and then I can just leave. So whatever options you need to do, this is equivalent to a right click. If you wonder what a right click is in a touch device, this is what a right click is. You touch and you hold, then you leave and you see that the menu is here. So this is a right click in a touch device. So these are basic gestures to do on touch devices with Windows 8.1. Hope it helps you learn a little more on how to use your own computer or tablet that has a touch screen. If you enjoy our videos, want to subscribe to our channel, you'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments, questions on what you've seen, let us know. And hopefully you like our videos, maybe there's something you'd like us to talk about, let us know. We'll try to post a video and help you. Bye-bye.